Hello and welcome to another Elite Audio video and today we are exploring the sublime, the superb, the remarkable and the amazing as we delve into the newly launched Electro Compagnie AW300 monoblocks. To find out what makes them so special, please stay tuned, all is about to be revealed. <laughs> If you've been following our last few weeks videos where we were dishing out the very well earned awards in our annual awards ceremony, you will see that Electro Company actually picked up more than one and rightly so. I am a massive fan of Electro Company products. They're some of the best made, the most reliable. It is built by a team of truly enthusiastic and passionate people that actually really understand how to build proper amplification. <clears throat> the fact that they have been in business for a very long time is testimony to the fact that they are really, really good at what they do. And without blowing their trumpet too much, the original Nautilus monoblocks which I've covered and mentioned in previous videos were actually designed to help B&W promote their Nautilus loud speaker and hence they were given the name the Nemo monoblocks because quite honestly other manufacturers couldn't build amplification at that time that were stable enough for B&W to demonstrate these brand new Nautilus flagship speakers properly and that in itself was a fascinating story because it proves that inherently within Electro Compagnie they have got some of the best and well thought out and properly engineered amplifiers that are robust and fit for any purpose and that is something in itself. So I'm genuinely very excited at this brand new launch of the AW300M monos which replace the AW180s. Now the 180s are about 25 years old in technological terms with perhaps some minor uh, tweaks over the years but this is the latest model taking everything they've learned from the brand new AW800 monoblocks to create these incredibly powerful 300 monoblocks. Now I've been asked many times the AW prefix what does it actually mean? Well it means Ampli wire and that was the original design ethos for the original Nemo monoblocks which are now effectively Ampli wire too. So I'm just going to take you through what this actually means in technical terms to give you a much broader understanding about what why these should be high on your list if you have the budget to buy these because trust me when I tell you if Stuart Smith from Hi-Fi Pig has one of these as his own amplifier, the AW800. That tells you something that is, I would say, very indicative of the fact that there is nothing to touch these currently. Hi-Fi News loved the AW800. They gave it their top award at a huge score. Worldwide, it's picked up an incredible, I would say almost embarrassing amount of awards. It's so good. So the 300, its little brother, picks up all the technological advantages, but in a smaller chassis and a lighter weight, they're about 30 kilograms each. But anyway, let's get into AmpliWire and let me explain precisely what it is. So AmpliWire is the name that Electro Company have given to the design of their amplifiers. And it, it actually means uh, AmpliWire amplifying the wire not altering the sound at all. So they, they use what they class as their Electro Compagnie classic circuitry design methodology and that's where the transistors are operated in a very uh, 
high bias class A mode which brings low distortion and of course very low noise. Now the amplifiers they feature a high open loop bandwidth design and they use circuitry that at the same time preserves and takes full advantage of the modest applied negative feedback. Now that results in low distortion across the full audio frequency band with very well, in fact, it's not even very good bass control, amazing bass control, a very smooth top end. Now, the top end is smooth, but it is not rolled off, and that is a very crucial point to make. It has all the texture and the detail that you want, and some manufacturers, in their attempt to give you a smooth top end, I would say it's hashtag fail because the make it too rolled off and it becomes dull and uninteresting but not electric company. Interestingly also they use a very uh, or a, a very discreet and fully discreet circuit design so there's no op amps in the audio signal path at all and that is why with this unique design they've labeled it AmpliWire which is where the AW and their power amps comes from. Now the AW300, which is the brand new model, encompasses the Electro Company direct coupled high open loop bandwidth technology. Now, that's further enhanced with a high slew rate and a very high bandwidth amplifier stage. Now, it's, it's a brand new output stage that's designed and it heavily shields the input and driver stages from the load which makes the output extremely rigid and unaffected by the connected load. Now that is absolute genius. It has the added benefit of uh, significantly simplifying the workload of already uh, the, uh, the gently working feedback system and that thus provides vanishingly low distortion figures, that's Lass's actual words on the design. So to feed the output stage, the power supply has been heavily updated and now there's a total of 210,000 microfarad supply filtering. Mains power output is DC and RF filtered, which is fantastic, it means that you do not need any DC filtering in your mains block. The twin toroidal wire gauge upgraded transformers are magnetically and electrostatically shielded to keep any external noise from intruding into the amplification. And that again is very smart design topology. Uh, uh, the internal ground <coughs> reference has been vastly overdimensioned, <coughs> quote unquote, and kept fully free of rectifying and output currents. So the result. It's a very clean, noise-free output signal, regardless of the output power, and that is a very key point to note, that some amplifiers, as, the, as you increase the power demands or current demands on the amp itself and the power supplies, you can get some inherent noise appearing, especially under load or where there are large transients in your music, and this amplifier is devoid of any such irregularities and nasties coming into your signal path. Therefore, you get the blackest background possible at any sound level. Now, I'll tell you now, honestly, I, when I first heard the AW800 is the big brother, which is where all this technology is derived from, it is utterly astonishing how quiet this amplifier is. It is a phenomenal feat of engineering. And whilst I've not heard the 300s, we are going to be launching these at the Bristol Hi-Fi show. And if you're interested in attending, I will bring all the details up on screen, uh, a room number, how you can buy tickets and so on will be in the video description below this video with a link to the Bristol show. You can buy tickets. We would love to see you there. It will be such a pleasure to meet you, but more importantly, to introduce you to the AW300M monoblocks. Lasse and uh, some of the Electric Company team will be there. We will also be exhibiting Revival Audio and we will be again another first in the UK. The brand new Atalante 4s will also be in our listening room for your listening pleasure. But anyway, this video is all about the AW300M. So, Massive upgrade from the 180s, the replace. A beautifully designed chassis. I love the Electro Compagnie styling. They have maintained this family design since launch and it is a beautiful thing to behold. 
the build quality is second to none. If you look at the internals on this amplifier, it's so well thought out. The real design of the chassis, again, it's, everything is about reducing vibration, shielding everything from unwanted noise, putting the best components in possible. And that's why you get 300 watts at eight ohms. It doubles to 600 at four. It is completely stable, putting a kilowatt out at two ohms, and it is also can be stable at one ohm load, which is absolutely insane. I keep talking about this about electro compagnie amplifiers. They are the most robust, the most stable, but, and I, and I say this every time I talk about them, power is not everything, it is a lot, and the fact they can do it in such, I would say, a groundbreaking way, like complete silence, the ability to deliver high current delivery consistently over extended periods that other amplifiers are losing breath and literally coughing all over the floor with no breath left, they've run out of oxygen. The Electro Compagnie just keeps powering on and powering on and powering on like a true Viking, the Norsemen of old, making sure there is nothing that they cannot deal with and that in itself is remarkable. I used a David Price quote uh, from his review of the AW250R which is a stereo amplifier where he said it controls your speakers like an Alsatian shaking a rag doll and these 300s will be no exception to that. Honestly, I cannot wait to hear them. I get so excited when I hear about a new product from Electro Compagnie. It's, ah, they just do something which other manufacturers could really learn from. They never rush a product to market and that means you don't get the early adopters paying the price for buying something that is at that point underdeveloped and I can think of a fantastic example from a very high profile manufacturer where they launched a product and literally within two or three months of it being launched there's a massive recall. Uh, I know the UK sales manager was visiting dealers directly doing literally on-site upgrades quote unquote, uh, we'll call it upgrades, uh, where the product clearly wasn't ready for market but they fell under the financial pressure to get it out there I love the fact that Electro Compagnie do not rush anything to market. It shows they care that the early adopters get the best product immediately and that's commendable. And I, and I love you guys, Electro Compagnie, for that fact. So, you will be able to hear these monoblocks at the Bristol show. They will be driving the brand new Atalante 4 loudspeakers. We will also have the Electro Compagnie uh, EC 4.8 Mark II, uh, which will be connecting to their ECM1 Mark V CD player. So it's going to be a very nice and coherent Electro Compagnie system. In addition, we are going to have the, uh, as I said, the Revival Audio, Revival Audio Atalante 4, brand new model, just released. It'll be the first time a pair will be in the UK and you will get to see these. Uh, as a premiere in a room at the Bristol show. We will also have from Antipodes the K22 and that will be being connected to uh, an absolute amazing favourite of ours here at Elite Audio which also picked up an award in our awards, the Aqua Formula XHD Revision 2 and we will also have Ever Solo, we'll have the A8 there again that you can have a listen to we will be connecting everything up with high diamond cables, which are, they're just remarkable, these cables. They neither impact or detract from the sound. And I can think of no better way to connect all of our components together than high diamond. So it's gonna be a great weekend at Bristol. We genuinely cannot wait to see you there. And, oh, if you, um, if you have any questions about the AW300 monoblocks, you can drop me a direct email. Here is my email address. I will reply to everybody <coughs> that messages me directly. We endeavor to answer every single comment that you post on our YouTube channel because we really value your feedback. It's, it's incredibly important to us <coughs> hearing your feedback learning what you want to see in our video content, which leads me very nicely 
to the part of the video where I always ask this very small favour and that is if you're enjoying the video content, if you would like to see more videos from us here at Elite Audio, then please just take a few seconds to subscribe. It literally takes a few seconds, but by doing so, it gives us further impetus to keep producing week after week the video content that we know you're going to want to hear and hear about. One, one other thing, um, if you do come into the Bristol show and you're interested in how to learn more about how the A8 Eversolo works, we'll be happy to take you through all the menu settings, which also is a very similar setup to all the other Eversolo products. So make a note in your diary, Bristol show, 23rd to the 25th of February. And again, I'll bring the details up on screen. There will also be, as I said, in our video description at the end of this video and also as I said as well through the video if you do come along to a room you will get a chance to meet Lasse Danielson from Electric Compagnie who will be more than happy to give you more uh, an in-depth description as to what makes the AW300M monoblock so spectacularly good and trust me it will be I can say that with complete confidence because if there's one brand you can trust where the name actually has some meaning in terms of the ability to deliver what they promise, without question, Electro Compagnie do that so very easily. And I'll tell you now, in all the years I've been in this industry, I value greatly that name because it genuinely means a huge amount in terms of what you get as an audio file. When you plug that in your system, the pride of ownership is right there for you. They're just so beautifully made and they sound incredible. I, I can think of many stories of clients who have bought, in fact there's a client recently bought an AW250R from us to replace an aging um, a, a, audio research system um, and it was, it was replacing actually two large audio research monoblocks. We didn't take them as a part exchange, he'd actually had a, somebody for them and he replaced it with the AW250R and he loves that amplifier. He, he just said it did precisely what we said it would do. It's hugely musical. So that's why we are, we have this huge passion and enthusiasm for Electro Company products and if you ever have the the privilege or opportunity to try one for yourself, you will fully appreciate and understand what makes them so good. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week listening to music. As I keep saying, it is the best way to unwind. It's cathartic, it's, it's great for your mental health. And this amazing hobby of hi-fi is just the best world to be in and I love what we do here at Elite Audio. It's a privilege to have so many wonderful and loyal customers and it's always a privilege to meet new people and hear their story about their system and how they arrived at that. It's, everything is just so fantastically, what's the word, wonderful to, to be part of this world. So once again, thank you for watching the video this week. We'll be back again next week with something new and exciting. So till then, please take care and I will look forward to talking to you again next week.